Okay, so now we're going to finish our watercolor drawing. The supplies you'll need today are a paint shirt. I'm wearing my apron, so I'm not going to put a paint shirt on. You're going to need a container of watercolors, a paintbrush, and ask Mrs. Day for a cup of water. Don't get the water yourself. I'll help you with that. Um, you should also have your picture already outlined with your black crayons, the one we made last time. Um, make sure I give you the okay to go get your supplies, and you're going to take care of that pencil and crayon also. And then we have our container of watercolors. And if you notice, if I try to paint, no paint gets on the brush. There's a reason why they're called watercolors, and that's because we need water to get the paint started. So I'm going to decide what color I want to start with. And I think I'm going to start with my face. And for that, I'm going to use brown. So I need to dip into my water. And I actually want a little drip on my paintbrush. Not, we're not going to put a whole bunch in to make a whole flood. Just a little drip. And I'm going to drip it in there. And because I'm doing it for the first time, I'm probably going to do it a couple of times. And then I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to kind of swirl, swirl, swirl. I'm going to swirl, 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 swirl. Very careful. I'm not going to push hard on my paintbrush. I'm going to do it nice and gentle and I'm just going to swirl it around. Because if I push too hard, it's going to break that paint up and that's not going to work very well. And then once I do that, I swirl it out, I can see that it kind of looks like a muddy mud puddle just because I'm using brown. If I was using a different color, it would look like that. And then I'm going to come up and I'm going to start painting. And you can see that when I touch the crayon, the black crayon, it doesn't stick to it. Now this might not be the exact color of my skin. It might look a little too brown, but it's okay. If I want to make it a little lighter, the trick is to get just a tad bit more water and then we can lighten that color up. See how it gets a little bit lighter when I do that? There's that. I'm going to paint my ear, my other ear. i to get my neck. Now with you guys painting on your flat surface, you don't have to worry about it running all over. I'm going to dip a little bit more water in. I'm going to swirl a little more. i got to get my arm, my hand. And you know what? I might go ahead and, and get a little bit of yellow on my paintbrush and see if that changes the color just a little bit and it kind of lightens it up a little bit. Yeah. See how it changes that color of the brown? And it got a little lighter there. I went a little bit lighter. And I got my feet down here. I'm wearing pants, so can't see. Pretty good. All right, now I'm ready for another color. And just like I did before with yellow, I want to show you. I'm going to take my paintbrush in the water and I'm going to swirl, 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 swirl. Now, when I get my paintbrush out, I don't want you to tap, tap, tap. I want you to push the water out of the paintbrush. See how I'm pushing it on the side of the cup just like this? That's how we're going to get our water out of the paintbrush. We're just going to push it against the side like that. So that way we're not tapping, we could, we could accidentally dump the water if we were tapping. And also, um, it just makes a, a loud noise that is not very fun when all we can do is just do this. I'm going to choose a different color now. I'm going to paint my shirt. And I'm going to do the same thing. Swirl, 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 swirl. To get a nice color and then I'm going to get started. I'm actually going to paint my pants purple. Now that was a light purple. If I wanted a darker, I need to swirl more. Then the paint will get darker. See how it looks darker now? All right, my friends, I think it's about time for you to get started on your watercolors. One last thing when you're all done, make sure there's not big puddles of water in your paint. And if there are big puddles of water in your paint, just ask for help and I will come and help you. You're going to close it up. You're going to take your paintbrush and you're going to swirl out all that water and you're going to dab it off and then take this up to the place. I'm going to show you where the paintbrushes go and then leave the water on your table. I'll help you with that. But take care of your paintbrush and your watercolors. All right, make sure you also paint all along the outside too. Get the whole picture painted, okay? All right, you're ready to start.